Could the apex predator direwolves from the Ice Age 10,000 years ago be making a comeback? Recently Colossal Biosciences, the company working to bring back the mammoth dodo and thylacine, announced they have de-extincted the world's first extinct animal, the direwolf. But how true is this? We'll find out in this video. Since the 1850s fossils of a huge canine species have been found in modern-day North America, this canine looked like a big dog and belonged to the family that includes wolves, foxes, and jackals. In 1858, an American paleontologist officially described it and named it Canis derus, the dire wolf, placing it under the genus Canis, the same group that includes modern gray wolves and domestic dogs. This made the dire wolf closely related to gray wolves and dogs, much like humans are to Neanderthals. After 1858, it became clear that the dire wolf was a large member of the wolf family, holding the record for the largest wolf, compared to today's largest gray wolves, the dire wolf was about 25% bigger. During the Ice Age, dire wolves hunted massive prey like large bison, baby mammoths, and giant ground sloths with their powerful jaws. But as the Ice Age ended and human hunting increased in North America, these giant animals went extinct. Due to a lack of prey, dire wolves themselves went extinct around 10,000 years ago. However, their cousins, the gray wolves, survived by adapting to hunt smaller animals. Now, here's something that will truly blow your mind. In 2021, a modern genetic study revealed that dire wolves weren't true wolves at all. In fact, they were so different that scientists had to remove them from the Canis genus and place them into a new one called Amanachion. The study also found that dire wolves and gray wolves last shared a common ancestor about 5.7 million years ago. That's as distant as humans are from chimpanzees, or lions are from cheetahs. When animals belong to different genera, they are so genetically distinct that they cannot even produce offspring together. So if dire wolves had no close living relatives, how did Colossal Biosciences bring them back? Colossal Biosciences selected a gray wolf and used CRISPR technology, a powerful gene editing tool, to modify just 14 genes out of approximately 20,000 genes. These edited cells were combined with a surrogate dog cell, forming a hybrid embryo. This embryo was implanted into a surrogate dog's uterus, resulting in the birth of two males, Romulus and Remus, and later one female, Khaleesi. The company claimed these three animals to be the return of the extinct dire wolf. However, it's important to note that no actual dire wolf DNA was used. Also, there are around 2,500 minus 3,000 genetic differences between gray wolves and real dire wolves, but Colossal only edited 14 genes based on traits like size and strength, not authentic dire wolf DNA. So, calling them true dire wolves would be misleading. It's like editing a few hair-related genes in a human and then claiming to have resurrected a chimpanzee, or editing a jaguar's teeth genes and claiming to bring back a saber-toothed tiger. In reality, Colossal Biosciences seems more inspired by the fictional dire wolves from Game of Thrones than the real reddish-brown dire wolves that once roamed North America. Always remember, every real animal evolved over millions of years through natural selection. Recreating that entire process artificially is nearly impossible. We can create hybrid animals inspired by extinct species, but they may never truly fit into an ecosystem. However, in the future, we might see extinct zoos showcasing such hybrids. True de-extinction is only possible for recently extinct animals. 